Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here, and today I'm going to talk about this brand new change that Roblox has decided to roll out that could potentially mean the end to bacon hair as we know it. So, I'm more than sure a lot of you are very aware of the whole bacon hair joke, which is, you know, if you guys don't know, it's the default hair when you sign up on Roblox for male characters, and uh, it looks a little bit like this, as you can see, pal hair, and a lot of people have drawn the connection that this looks like bacon, and it's been a running joke since this came out in 2014. And um, as it turns out, it seems like Roblox wants to do away with the bacon hair entirely. If you look at this brand new sign-up page that somebody posted on the Roblox subreddit, uh, link in the description in case you want to see it for yourself, um, you're going to be able to see right here that it says Roblox. I already have a Roblox account login, so you can see that this is, you know, this is a sign-up page because otherwise it would say, hey, you want to log in if you have an account, go here, right? And uh, let's take a closer look at this, right? It says select a starting character. And over here, you could see, um, this is just the picture zoomed in. You can see, select the starting character. You could always change this later. And then you can see some of the characters that are offered as starter characters. We got two R throw, right? And then we have one down here, which is using like the man package. All of these are R15, by the way. And uh, you can see these are the eight characters that you get to start with. Two of them have Arthro packages of some kind. I don't know what package this is. This could be 2.0 maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's action figure with the shoes. I, I can't tell what package this is. And uh, same thing with this one. I don't know what these are. Somebody please, oh God, oh God, these have fingers. Oh God, oh, oh no, oh, oh my God. So I, I didn't realize this until now. Mostly because this one just looks like, uh, you know, you know how Roblox 2.0 or Roblox 2.0 package, how it doesn't have any fingers, but it kind of just looks like a hand in this kind of shape. I didn't think to see any fingers there, right? I look at this character and I notice there's fingers. There's like legitimate fingers on these characters now, which I, I guess, you know, it's Arthur. We've seen them on Arthur characters, but this really looks a lot like, uh, you know, Roblox 2.0. So I didn't expect anything of it at first and it kind of surprised me, but... Yeah, and then we have these two, which we already discussed. This one's using the man package. I'm assuming this one's using the woman package. I, I haven't seen either in forever. Or maybe I have, and I just can't identify them, but I don't know. And then these two are using the normal, you know, no package character. And what's interesting is the scaling for these isn't even the default R15 scaling. These are like really, really weird Arthro scaling. And I, I'm assuming they forgot to fix it when they made these characters. Or maybe this is it, right? And also, what is what is this face? What are the faces on some of these? Like, uh, you know, this one, like the man face, I, I expect that. Um, this is the woman package face, I think. Scroll down. Then the bottom row has a bunch of really weird faces for some reason. I, I don't know what's up with that. Um, but yeah, in case you guys don't believe me, by the way, somebody actually, you know, tweeted out a video of them customizing their characters. So I'm, I'm going to also link that in the description. But if you want to take a look, it's, it'll be up right now. So as you can see from the video on the screen right now, um, posted by the Twitter user LivingB, you can see that uh, you're able to basically set up your character before you actually, you know, make your character. Like before you make your account and everything, you're able to pick the clothing. All of these are free clothing, by the way, but you're able to pick which free clothing you want um, instead of having to go through the catalog and select, you know, your stuff. You can also set your skin tone and the head that you use here. And then you're able to sign up and this would be your character, it seems, as uh, this person continues to sign up and all that. And I'm just very lost, okay? N not only because they're removing the, um, what's it called, the bacon hair, right? Which kind of sucks because the bacon hair was actually a pretty funny meme, at least to me. But um, I, I think it resembled Roblox uh, back then and now too. But um, yeah, you can see, now you could select any clothing from here. And um, as it says in the top left, it says you can always change this later in case you're not happy with it. And you can see like you're able to basically select your starting character, customize them a little bit if you want, and then just sign up and that's that. So I, I, I don't know, this is a really interesting brand new sign up page. I wonder if it's gonna get rolled out worldwide because I was actually gonna use my own footage of me trying this, but I went into incognito mode so I didn't have to sign out and uh, I don't have it. I, I don't have the, you know, custom sign up thing. Maybe it's only for certain people. Maybe they're slowly rolling it out or something, but hopefully this is just a test that doesn't go through because I, I really, I don't know. I, I really am going to miss pal hair a lot and the bacon hair memes and all that. And I'm really sad to see it go. And I know a lot of people are probably laughing, you know, ha ha funny, 
but I, I don't know. I, I really genuinely am going to miss the bacon hair memes that um, will no longer exist because the new players will have absolutely no idea what it is. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Honestly, um, it, it's kind of sad to see the end of bacon hair as we know it. But this is a brand new sign up page, as you guys can see. There's a randomized button here, actually, which I think is going to be funny. Maybe once this comes out to me, I'm going to just make characters using the randomize button and just see how wacky our characters can get. M maybe that's the plan. But yeah, seriously, though, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know down in the comments. How do you guys feel about this? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Just let me know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And goodbye.